Hello. Why am I feeling this way? Because I just made a video and I forgot to put something in the video, so now I got to do it all over again. And the trouble is, when I make another video, I forget things I said in the other video. But anyway, going to start off. This is a collection of um, my Godzilla toy figures that I only have one of each. Not one of a kind, one of each for me. Going to start off with this. This is the Trendmaster, 6 inch, or whatever it is. Um, I used to watch the Monster Island Buddies. I mean, I still watch it, you know. When I first started watching, I thought this was the Godzilla he was using, but I was very wrong. The Godzilla he was using was this guy. You know? <laughs> it's like you look at him, just staring at him. And you eventually expect him to say something. You know, and Rodan goes, I'm going to ask Martha out on a date. And he goes, uh, I hear she's dating King Ghidorah. I don't approve of that pronunciation, but that's how he said it. And then Rodan goes, fuck, I'm going to go cut off my dick. <laughs> or something like that. But anyway, so this is that Godzilla from Monster Island Buddies. This one is not. And uh, I'm put these aside. Now, let's see. Let's start off. With the teeniest one I got, 1962 Godzilla, I think it's Gassifon or Gashapon, Gacha whatever, I don't know how you pronounce it. That looks pretty huge here, right? You think it's gigantic? See? That's the size. My hand's about from here to here, about eight inches. So, there you go. But there, I'll bring it up close to make it look huge. And we got another one, a little bit bigger. Put them side by side, see the comparison. See? I'm thinking of painting this one a little on the charcoal side to lighten them up a little. I'm not saying for sure I will, I'm just thinking about it. Okay, all right. Now this is the, this is the guy I forgot to show everybody. This is the Millennium Godzilla. I think the paint job is not right. I have to, I have not, I love the look of middle Millennium Godzilla. It's like from Mega Gears to Tokyo SOS and that time frame of those three films. You know, I think that was the best look. You know, I didn't like his 2000 look because it looked like a frog to me. You know, and uh, Mega Gears started showing the improvements. So this could be Mega Gears, or this could be from after that. And I really don't like the music. I mean, the music in those, it just sucks. You know, it's really not that good. You know, I mean, it's like the composer tried, it's a she, it's a lady. I'm not criticizing because she's a lady. I'm criticizing because she tries, she writes very good quality music, you know that she's very adept and very professional at writing music and making music, but it just doesn't seem to fit what's going on in the Godzilla movie. You know? Then again, I mean, like, I love uh, Akira Ofukube, or Ifukube, whatever the correct pronunciation is. I've heard it said both ways, but I think uh, Ifukube is more accurate. And he just has his way of just pinpointing exactly what each moment should sound like. You know, this is going on in this scene, this is the kind of music I'm going to put in there. Where other writers, they just write music in general and hope something sticks to the wall. Anyway, that's enough of that. Now, let's see. I got more Godzillas to go. Oh, yeah, here's another one. This is the, uh... See, I lost my freaking stupid flame breath. Oh, no, I found it. Oh, goody. Okay. Start it off with this, and then I'll take it out. All right. See? It's supposed to be that poster art you get, you know, with the uh, picture in the back, Godzilla and all that. That's why the colors are the way they are, you know? But anyway, I'm not that big on articulation. I like to call it mobility, flexibility, or movability. So, I mean, I might say the word every now and then myself, but... I don't like, that. to me, I'm so accustomed that I grew up that articulation means how well you speak. That's the true, real meaning, definition of articulation. 
how well you enunciate your words, which I am not that good at. I have to consciously effort to say things where people understand me. Now, it moves here, it moves there, the legs move like that, there's, there's a section here below the knee that moves, the feet move separately, uh, the arm is moved, but it looks like he's got sort of a sleeve, you know, and then it moves over here. The head's got two points of move, mobility. You can turn the neck one way, turn the head the other way, and why the fuck would you need that? But the one that bothers me the most, because it goes against the laws of nature, is the torso split. Yeah, we could twist our torsos, the upper and lower, but they gotta find a way to make it do it differently. Just separating the upper half and the lower half of the torso, that looks fucking stupid, okay? That's what it looks like. Actually, all these movements, once they move away from a certain center point, it looks stupid. That's all I gotta say about that. Now, let's see. Uh huh. I'll show you these 1954 Godzillas. Very similar. This tail moves here, and the legs move, and the arms move, but uh, it's best just to leave them right where they sit because that's how they look best. Uh, these here move at the shoulders, so that's what makes this one different. And so that's pretty much it for that. Uh, this is Playmates. And this is Bandai. I'm kind of surprised that Bandai did a more natural, I mean, excuse me, that Playmates did a more natural look on the arms. And what do we have left? Okay, I'm going to show you my biggest Godzilla first. Then I'm going to show you my better Godzilla. Okay, this is the biggest one I got. It's about 11 inches tall. Only the tail moves. Uh, is that, see that? See how that sits like that? Let me get it lined up. Okay. Okay, that's, that's where it sits best. Once you move it out of place, there's no point. It doesn't even move all that much. All right, so no point to that. And the best one, I like this one. Guy's got an X plus in a video. I'm not gonna give you his name or what video that is because when I post a comment and I don't see, I look at the comments and when the YouTuber doesn't make some effort to respond to the people that watch him, screw it. I left no comment and I'm not gonna tell you who he is. But he's got an X plus that looks very much like this. But I looked on this and all it says on the bottom is, uh, 1998 copyright made in China. You can't see that in the picture, but I looked at it with a magnifying glass earlier. But anyway, this one's really sweet. Let's put this here so the tail lines up. Look at that. King Kong versus Godzilla. This is like when he's chasing down the train, walking along the train tracks. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. Goodbye.